Let's run through how USDC almost collapsed in 48 hours. We'll start with the Silicon Valley Bank. If you're not familiar with that, Coinbase itself had a large sum of their USDC reserves backed up in that bank there. There was a big announcement of the collapse of the bank and that presented a major issue as market confidence dropped. We move along to Coinbase, they temporarily stopped the USDC USD conversion. Now this allows you to trade your USDC, the virtual currency into USD and remove it from their app. So this caused ripples across the network as people started to panic a little bit and then you start to see an opportunity for people to utilize this and work it to their advantage. And also that fear makes people do things like remove their exposure to USDC. What happened next is we saw a bailout from the government come through. They stepped in, they announced that they will be bailing out banks that are in these financial situations, which then reinstalled some confidence back into the market so that people could understand that there was an opportunity for USDC to be saved and also that the US government was going to turn the money printer on and some sort of quantitative easing effect is going to be seen here. So I want to show you the USDC chart here and this is exactly what happened in these moments. You can see that there was a little bit of a, a hiccup here. This is an hourly chart of the USDC FUSDT. So all of this liquidity is sitting there and it's paired in these two assets. Effectively, it went out of balance and you can see we came down and we actually touched down at about 82 83 cents there for usdc which is meant to be pegged to one dollar so then people obviously bought it up saw the opportunity and thought at least there is some other backing for coinbase not all their money were in this bank the risk was spread across other banks so people started to buy this up and try and find a fair value if everything went bust and pop themselves back up to almost a dollar parity but at the point here this is where they're getting great information that the bank is going to bail them out. So we're starting to see that positive news have an effect at bringing this market back, pegging back to pretty much a dollar after announcing this news. But what you can see was amazing for us in this point is we had this volume and all of this generates fees on our exchange. So when there's crisis moments like this, our exchange does really, really well because it captures so much more volume. Move five seconds along, CZ comes out with this amazing tweet, which basically confirms that Binance are going to move some funds because they have BUS a very similar stable coin. And they said they're not comfortable sitting in BUSD. They're going to move it into assets like Bitcoin, BNB and ETH. Now they're about to put a billion dollars in this industry recovery fund. They're going to put it into these assets. One of the biggest things is that it shows the shift away from stable coins, allowing for USDC to possibly take a bit of a side seat and start to pair assets on the blockchain with BTC, ETH, BNB, FTM, all these other assets rather than than those stable coins. I think the market obviously agreed with this. As you can see what's happened to BTC, this is a Bitcoin chart on the hourly, but we look at what we've recovered to, $24,000 like butter. We've broken through this resistance here and now we're pushing up to where we had these local highs not that long ago before we had this big dip. Obviously that downtrending um, force has been well broken and we're sitting up here above this old resistance now becomes support. And the market's received what CZ has said very, very well and also the collapse of USDC. So we move along and I'm just going to quickly show you how to do a swap into USDC or out of USDC. So in this case here, let's do it out of USDC into FTM. You could do this into any asset. It's as simple as this. Finds the pricing, you hit swap, you pop over here, confirm that transaction, allow that to go through and what will happen is your USDC will be swapped here and it will turn into FTM and add FTM to your wallet. This all happens within your MetaMask.